Hello and welcome to the seventh tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at strings. Strings as the name suggests is just basically a piece of text that allows you to well, do stuff a bit. You can create a variable which is what we're going to be doing and unlike the other variables that we've created so in, flow, double, boolean etc it has its own hash include basically its own header, its own file and it's, a, it's actually a class, it's a not, you create an object, a string object unlike a variable but it also has its own function, strings are a lot more powerful than int, um, char, boolean and what have you so let's just go ahead and open up our project okay so what we're going to do is get rid of this line for a second And oh, yeah, first of sorry, we need to include the string header, so it's literally just called string in angle brackets. These angle brackets are for when you're including a library file and you use quotation marks, like okay, these, when you're including like a custom file, but we'll get onto that later on in this series. And so to create it, it's part of the standard namespace. They need to do std colon colon or up here you need to put using namespace std. And then you do string. Name of your string, I'm just going to put s. Then bracket bracket, then inside here you just put what you want to have inside this variable. I'm going to put hello, this is a string. And we're going to do std out s std and line semicolon now run it and we have the string printed s but what we can also do if we do s dot to access this object's method there's a, there's a bunch of methods that we can access we can empty erase stuff but we're going to look at length so if we do length we run it and it saves 22 no. characters this also includes space so let's just count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So yeah, as I said, it does include spaces, so just bear that in mind when you use this. Um, but there's so many more functions, there's a ridiculous amount. And um, yeah, there's so we can look at size, so let's just run that. The same again. Don't want to remove the main file. See if there's anything else interesting that we can just quickly show you in this tutorial. And so have a look at this one. I'll run it. Uh, C string will basically sort of pr print it out as a char string, so this is useful for stuff that will take maybe in a char array. But well, yeah, that's it for strings. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at constants, which are similar to variables, but that are constants. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube, whatever you feel comfortable with. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.